Hi everyone. I missed a couple days while I was up at the Mayo getting a pulmonary capacity test and a COVID booster. That means I have quite a few things to share with you tonight as I go over some of my adventures. I'll save a little bit for tomorrow, but most of the news was good and the bad news was not unexpected. Let's start by discussing my meeting with the doctor from Verda on Wednesday. Verda is the health company that Blue Shield is hooking me up with to help reduce or eliminate my diabetes symptoms. They provide equipment, medical support, nutritional support, and of course they have an app. The doctor mainly asked me a bunch of questions about my health, such as if I have burning sensations in my feet, I don't. If I have kidney stones, I don't. Whether I've ever been prescribed insulin, I haven't. Whether I've been hospitalized for anything related to my diabetes, no again. Of course, we went over my medications and their effectiveness and issues. He doesn't seem too concerned about the meds I'm taking, so overall it sounds good. He spent a little time telling me about the program and asking if I'd done keto before. I told him I had and that it had been effective, but I couldn't keep it up long term. He told me that this time I'll have a support team, which is great, but am I supposed to do this for the rest of my life? Are they still going to be there in five years? We'll see. For now, though, I'm still waiting for the final approval and for the kit they're supposed to send me. I can't wait for the unboxing. After my meeting with the doctor, my wife and I made the drive up to Phoenix. We got there a little later than I wanted because I guess rush hour in Phoenix starts at 3 in the afternoon these days. It was bumper to bumper for the first 20 miles throughout the city, and then it finally cleared up a little towards the end. On the first day, uh, my wife had a procedure, and I just got my COVID booster. Today was my pulmonary capacity test. I'm only going to go briefly over the results there because I haven't discussed it with the doctor yet. This was the bad news of the trip, but it wasn't unexpected. I do have reduced lung capacity. This is no shocker because about a third of my right lung has been collapsed for at least a year and a half. But it is the official confirmation that indeed I am not able to take in or breathe out as much air as I should. We'll see what that means when the doctor follows up sometime next week. That's the summary of my visit to Phoenix. I was able to get my steps in every day, but did fall short of my active calorie goal one day. Overall, considering all the travel and appointments, I think I did pretty well. We'll talk about that a little more at the end. Before that, though, I finally got my labs back from LabCorp, and I'm seeing a lot of improvement already, even though we're only about six weeks out of my last labs. The biggest improvement was in my A1C. That's gone from 10.3, pretty freaking high, to 6.9. Considering it's been just six weeks and A1C doesn't fully reset for three months, I think that is a spectacular drop. I can't have asked for a better result. I should add that my fasting glucose was 93, which is also good. It was 133 at my last lab on January 3rd. Looking at the other metabolic number that was out of whack last time, my AST was 39 in January, which was high. Now it is down to 21, which is almost exactly in the center of the normal range. AST stands for aspirate transferase, uh, which is a good reason why they call it AST. It measures liver health, so getting back in the normal range is fantastic news. When it comes to my lipid slash cholesterol panels, I am still in the low range. In January, I had a total cholesterol of 79, and now it's down to 73. My LDL, or bad cholesterol, is down to 30 from 39. My HDL, or good cholesterol, rose from 23 to 29. They would like it to optimally be above 40, but with my cholesterol so dramatically low, the ratio of good cholesterol to total cholesterol is incredible. They consider a ratio below 5 to be in the normal range, my last ratio was 3.43, which is quite good, but now it's down to 2.51. The lower I can keep that ratio, the better my heart health will stay. The other number I consider a big improvement is my creatinine, which helps with muscle development. Last time I was barely in the normal range at 7, and now I'm at 9.9, .9, which puts me in the middle of the normal range. So, after 6 weeks of walking 10,000 steps a day and watching my diet, I've got great numbers for everything except my A1C, and even that is dramatically improved. As long as I keep up the routine, I look forward to that number coming down even more the next time. As for my daily numbers, I've been away from my regular scale for a couple days, but this morning the clinic weighed me in at 304. That wasn't a first thing in the morning fasting weight, I'd actually eaten a big breakfast, so even though it's a little higher than my last weigh-in at home, it's 30 pounds less than what I weighed in October. That's 30 pounds lost in four months and gives me a lot of hope that I can hit 250 by the end of the year. My blood sugar was 98 on Wednesday, 111 on Thursday, and 107 this morning. Those are all solid numbers and show consistent improvement from when I started measuring in early January. I'd like to see it under 100 every day, but realistically it's going to take longer before I can fully tackle that. 
I'm sure once the Verda people are involved and I officially start eating a keto style, we'll see even bigger changes. Speaking of eating, it sure is hard to stay on target when traveling and eating in restaurants and hotels, but I think I did pretty well. Wednesday's total calories was 2178 and Thursday's was 2270. Those are a couple hundred calories higher than average, but nothing out of the realm of normal eating. For those of you who watched on Tuesday, I was a bit worried about getting my steps in while traveling. I'm happy to report I got 13,390 steps on Wednesday and 12,659 on Thursday. Today is looking good too. On the downside, while I was at 1,012 active calories on Wednesday, I missed the 1,000 mark on Thursday with just 893. It isn't a terrible number, especially considering how packed the day was, but I'm still a little frustrated that I missed. That's all I'm going to cover today. Tomorrow I'll talk a little bit more about the trip and the results. Until then, I'll leave you with my Sir Terry Pratchett quote of the day. This one is from Interesting Times. The Empire's got something worse than whips, all right. It's got obedience. Whips in the soul. They obey anyone who tells them what to do. Freedom just means being told what to do by someone different. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, and I'll see you tomorrow.